Today I'm just going to go through several of my images and just give you a different idea of some different setups. Sorry about the logo. This I did for a woman who was working on her website. Uh, this one also, set of teapots. This one, um, I just really like the light in the background. I set it away from the window so you could capture some of that depth of field back there. Um, very simple setup. I just had a bunch of tulips, dropped them into this little wheelbarrow using the backlight of my dining window. Little flat lay with a bit of a human touch in that one. Candle and some eucalyptus. I love candle light and I love backlight. Very simple in my studio space with a little back and side light coming in, showing off the greenery. Top down, I love the rustic feel of this image, love the burlap. Uh, still life on a chair, something different you can do. Top down, uh, my grandma's cream pitcher a way of preserving a treasure with this beautiful side light coming in from the studio window. Top down dishcloth. I keep these specifically for my still life images. Oh yeah, and I love the harsh shadows on this image. We often try to keep shadows out, but sometimes shadows really tell a story. Uh, top down, very simple. A metal envelope and some greenery from our redwood. A little bit more complicated image here. I held up the little twinkle lights close to the camera so that I could get this blur and some of the larger lights. I mean the lights are all small but holding it closer to the camera made them larger. Very simple top down on the floor side light coming in on a just a board painted white with a white backdrop hanging on my wall. Uh, this is a treasure memory kind of an image. My daughter's dress and the flowers that her dad gave her in her corsage um, for a father-daughter dance. This is an image I took for uh, the branding of the Joyful Life magazine website. And then one I did for mine soon after because mine wasn't as pretty as theirs anymore. Uh, this is a child's chair in my hallway. I have a piece of whiteboard underneath it and then just the white wall and I love the shadows that the light coming in from the bedroom created on it. Uh, top down, a little bit of food photography, rustic look. Just a little uh, tray I bought from the thrift store, some succulents kind of broken apart, and some seeds from my morning glories. This one, the blueberries, and then that light. Would you believe that light is a piece of aluminum foil crunched up in the background? Incredible what it did. An envelope with lavender. Top down, very simple. Um, my studio window, that little tin can and a peony. I love peonies. These next two are outdoor still life. Got that morning light. Had to be ready for that one. Goes away quick. This is just a trio of vases. Sometimes it's fun to do threes, same flowers. My favorite little teacup with some roses in it. I love using unusual containers for flowers. Uh, dried roses, I love dried flowers also. Another version of dried flowers on a cookie sheet. Um, my favorite teacup and just some pretty fall floral lights in the background. Simple picture of um, some seeds in a bowl. Uh, both of these were a little bit of dark and moody. This one was done for the Joyful Life magazine. It would make a pretty card, I think. 
a um, little food photography, a little more detail, complicated setup than what I normally do. Um, some pieces I won from a giveaway online. Uh, more dried flowers on a chair. And then this one is just some a collection of some of the things that I use in my photography.